Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Weirdos 35, which is Seiko's two product wear washing system for detergent and rinse aid. Now, depending on what model you have, the connections for the tubing may be different. We, on this case, we have push fit fittings, but we also have a model with compression fittings, which I'll show you later. So let's have a look first at the install kit. There is a wall bracket with four fixing points, so it's very, very robust and stable once on the wall. Two meters of clear PVC, four meters of blue PVC, and two meters of PE tube. Now, very important to use the PE tube being for the rinse outlet, because that's where you're gonna be connecting to the boiler, and it's more heat resistant and hard wearing. In the bags, we have a foot filter and weight, as well as a tank fitting for connection to the wash tank. And on the rinse pump, we have again the foot filter and weight with a non-return valve and also an adapter if you have one of those machines where the tubing is coming off of the boiler. Now as I mentioned some of the tubes we supply have compression fittings so in that kit you'll be receiving the nuts that then can screw on to the bayonet connectors fitted to the tubes. So let's have a look at the programming of the unit. So to enter the programming menu Simply hold the center button and the first screen will give you the option to select the language. If you're okay with that, again, press the center button. This is generally the step to take to move on to the next menu and the left and the right buttons will change the settings. So if we now select as a language, we want to set the unit. So we press the left hand button and we want to program the unit. So left button again. It will now ask for a pin code. The standard pin code on the Weirdos 35 is 11, but you can change that in a secret menu further on. At the moment, we'll just move this across. And we're now entering the programming menu. We can zero the data, or we can choose to program the menu. Now, there's several methods to set this unit up because it is suitable for all types of dishwashers from under the counter to flight and conveyor machines. So we have initial fill at the moment on power up. So when the unit first receives its power, it will do its initial fill of detergent, but we can change that to signal one. So with the fill solenoid, you can actually trigger the dose. Or if only one solenoid is on the washing machine, you can have signal two long. So you can use typically the trigger that's used for the rinse dose, but if it remains for 20 seconds or more, the unit realizes this is initial fill and will carry out the initial dose. Generally, most people would use that in power up, but you do have the options. Again, moving on, probeless mode. The unit can work with a conductivity probe or in probeless mode. We also have another menu there, which is simplified. This is a way of using a conductivity probe, uh, but not in the typical way, and it proved very, very successful and very reliable, and we'll cover that a little bit later on. If we revert to probeless mode, we now have the options for the detergent speed, where you can set the detergent speed of the detergent pump. And this is the dosage for the initial fill. At the moment, we've got it in timed. You have the option of cyclic, or you can do it in quantity. If we select quantity, we can now enter the amount for the, the initial dose. And this is the top up quantity. So when it receives its rinse signal, which is typically when you would do that, you would top up the detergent and we have an amount in there that you can just amend. Rinse mode, again, we're in timed, but we have the option of cyclic, quantity or speed and we can come to that later. That's generally a function used when uh, fitting to a conveyor or a flight machine where the signal doesn't come in and go out, it's continuous. So you can just run the pump in a continual speed mode. If we go back to the quantity, you can enter your rinse quantity on there, increase that and move on. This is a delay for the rinse. Some manufacturers don't like you to put the rinse in immediately, so you can put a little bit of delay on there if you need to. And then if the unit is fitted with suction lances with a low level float, then you can say whether you would like this to stop the unit or just to alarm. So we'll stay in this case, yes. And then we progress through the menu. 
and we can quit. So when we reach the programming stage, we can also choose the data section where we can see the number of initial fills. And if we program through the menu, we can see the rinse count, how many rinse signals have been received, the run times, detergent in litres, rinse in litres, and back to the main screen. So one of the many useful functions on the Weirdos 35 is Seiko's patented simplified mode. Now this is where you use a conductivity probe, but not in the standard way. As we all know, conductivity probes are prone to fouling and corroding, so may never reach the set point. With simplified mode, you eradicate all of those problems, because what happens is, when the unit fills up with its initial fill of chemical, when the probe is initiated, it takes a snapshot of what's in the wash tank. Now next day, if that's a different reading, it'll maintain the same in the tank. So you get that self-calibration every day. Obviously probes will need cleaning periodically, but it's a much more accurate way than saves a lot of time having to titrate the tank and take your readings and entering a set point. Hope that's clear. Especially when dosing in quantity and for statistical purposes, it's really important to calibrate your system so it knows exactly how much it's dosing. Ongoing calibration is also very important because it helps you to assess the tube degradation over a period of time, as well as ensuring accurate results. The calibration uh, process is very simple. You have a graduated jug of uh, liquid, which you place on the suction side of the pump. You're having to calibrate, and you press and hold the center and the left button for detergent, the center and right button for rinse aid. Pressing and holding, You'll go into the calibration mode and it will ask you if you want to calibrate. By pressing this button, the calibration process will start and it will last 60 seconds. When the calibration process is complete, you will receive an estimated value on the screen, which you can adjust to the amount of chemical used from your graduated container. Simply adjust to the right figure and press enter. For installation purposes, we'll just take a, a look at the inside of the unit. So we have the mains connection on the right hand side, and we have two level inputs here for your detergent and rinse aid. We have the conductivity probe input over here, and an output for a relay control on this one. We then come to the signals. The wash signal on the right hand side is only used when the probe is in use. The center signal block is for the rinse aid and detergent top up. And the left hand signal, which is known as the charge, is for the initial fill of detergent when you're doing that by solenoid. So when initially installing the unit or when you've run out of chemical, you can simply reprime the dosing lines by pressing hold the relevant button. So for detergent, we press and hold the left button. press again to stop, and the same with the rinse pump. Once again, there's very minimal maintenance with the Weirdos 35, but you will periodically need to change your tubes. Very simple process, lift the sprung loaded screen, release from the inlet connector, take out, and replace in the same way with your new tube.